Hello everybody, this is Jack B1024 and welcome to episode 60 of our Dynamic Factory Let's Play series. So in the last episode we set up uh, three new production bays. We set one up here, not there, here, making uh, pipes and we set up two down the bottom, one of them making our engines and the other one making our pumps. And this is so that we can make our blue science packs, which is the next real milestone in uh, this map. Well, the game. Uh, so one thing that I did forget to do last episode is I forgot to connect the green lines up. Yep, they're not connected. Uh, so we'll just do that now. And while we're doing that, I'll discuss, here we go, this one has to connect, I think to just this one will work. Yep, that works. Just a quick interruption here from Future Jack. So um, just a quick update on how everything's going. So the internet guys came, they set it up, and apparently I need to wait a few more days, maybe even a week uh, for the internet to be completely connected. So that's always fun. Uh, also, while I was waiting for the internet, I noticed that my graphics card had been playing up since the move. So I did some testing with it and noticed that uh, the HDMI and DVI ports don't actually output anything. So I took it back to where I bought it from, they tested it and agreed with me that those ports aren't working and so they sent it off to get it repaired. And so I'm without a graphics card for two to four weeks. So basically that means that there's not going to be any uploads on this channel for, you know, the two to four weeks until my graphics card gets fixed and returned to me. Um, but otherwise, you know, enjoy this episode. I recorded it before all this went down and uh, yeah, I'll see you again in two to four weeks. So in this episode, we're going to set up uh, this chemical bay here has to be set up to make our sulfur. We need an area to make our water, which is one of the ingredients in making sulfur. And with that, we should, oh no, we need to make a fast inserter bay. And then we have everything to make one of the blue science recipes, mainly this one. Now, Unfortunately, I believe that by the time we actually get around to making that, let's just get rid of these trees. There we go. Uh, making that blue science, I'm trying to check. I think, yep, that looks good. Okay, by the time we get around to making that blue science, I believe that our recipe is actually going to change. Now, if we want to make the next recipe or the other recipe, there's three, there's this one, and there's a uh, advanced circuits, so that's plastic we also need, engine units we're making, electric mining drills, we just need a production area for that because we're making all of that. And that would let us make the second sort of uh, blue science packs. The third one, uh, can't remember straight away what it requires, but I do remember it's, it's more complex than these two. Uh, and that's why I haven't actually written it down because I I think we'll make that one later. So that's what the plan is for this episode, just as a neighbor's dog starts barking. Uh, let's check out what these trains are waiting for. Okay, you're just waiting to go there. We're actually past there. Okay, I'll be back once the dog's quieted down. Okay, so the dog's finally decided to uh, stop barking. So yeah, it looks like one of these is missing. Actually, it was over in this bank, wasn't it? Yes. Here, this one here doesn't have a signal. You do, you do, you do. Okay, I think all the rest do. So that's what was uh, stopping that one train. Yep, that's where I'm putting it. And this also doesn't have one. Okay, so that's that fixed. Now we're gonna need two more bays to set up uh, for our fast inserters and our blue science. So I think we should actually just get them started. And the second one won't complete because I haven't revealed all the map that it's at, but you know, at least that'll give my bot something to do while I go. And I'm going to uh, set up our new chemical area. And then once we've got that set up, we're gonna to go to the north up here. Um, trying to think of a good place to work. We need to have 
a bay that we can go and collect water from. Could say have this one come across, go up, and try and collect it maybe here somewhere, then go back in. I think that's what we're gonna have to uh, go with something like that. We still have these um fake combinators just sitting on the ground. Do have to find a way to get rid of them. Okay, so the first thing okay this looks all fine all of those are at least going into the same side let's get did that use up all of my yes it did of course it did that's 50 each okay let's go get some um get some pipes so that we can actually set up oh we're gonna have to have a whole second entry area which we don't really have much room for with the way this is laid out Gonna need probably four tanks here. We're gonna need our six over here. What are you missing poles? Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can get across to where one of our furnaces are. That way we can actually go and pick up the iron plates that we need to construct all this. Just this one will do. That was convenient timing. If I'd uh, been a couple of seconds later, I might have walked straight in front of that train. So I have six. I need six and four, so that's ten. So I'll make another. F I'll make another ten anyway, and we'll go off and get our pipes. Should I just make these ones? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, yeah, I'll just make them here. It'll be faster. So it should be, yep, this station just here. We're probably gonna need some more pumps. How many do I have? Do I have none? I'm gonna need more pumps here, pipes. Let's get 10, 10 should be enough. One, two. So we'll kind of copy this layout. This is kind of in the way. So unless we put the other side over here. Uh, get rid of that one. Otherwise, yeah, go with that. If we put this about here, that's in line. We're gonna want an underground pipe there, and we're gonna want this pipe here to run this way. Put that one there, and we can connect up all of those. That just looks like a buffer, which it is, so that's fine. And the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna actually need a way to get this liquid into these um, input ports. Now, when we actually go to making a refinery, a chemical refinery, block that can actually make everything we can make with a chemical refinery. We're going to need a different layout because there's no way we can import any product into this now with the way that it's laid out. So we're going to have to think about that. Get one more of them. Yeah, so that should be that set up. You'll fill up that. Just checking if there's any more pumps needed, but I don't think so. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Do we have... I'll go over to the storage chest near our base to actually set that all up. Um, I think we should actually be fine to set the station up now. now. Our liquids will just sit around waiting for that to be all constructed, so that should be fine. 60 something, 69. And I don't think I have a calculator open at the moment. There we go. 69 times 128, add another 128, and we have our two numbers that we need. If we go up here, 6970, wonder what these four stations are. Shouldn't really have any stations that are Wait, why is there a station like here? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's gone now. So that just leaves, what, three stations. Um, that do not have. Okay, so there's this one here that makes sense. We haven't given that one a setup yet. They're all set up. Not sure where the other two are. You're named. Yeah. Is there a way you can actually see where the stations are? I don't think so. Well, we'll figure that out later. For the moment, we want to make sulfur, and that is made with water and petroleum gas. 30,000 of each. This is station number 8832 for our input. water in our one tank and we'll put petroleum in our two tank. We're going to be making sulfur probably 24,000. I assume would fill up its, uh, a train. Uh, 8960 and 64 because this is a supplying station. Okay, where's my car? There it is. Actually, is this hooked into the network? It is not yet. Let's disconnect that. Reset. Okay, so we're ready to do the requests. So now we need to do is just hook all four of these in. Hook them on the red lines, and then I actually want to check that the green line is connected correctly. We go to this screen here, uh, it is not like taking up the green on the left, which means it's not connected correctly. So connect those two and that should fix it. Yep. Good. Easy enough. Okay, so the only thing missing now is those 15. Let's get another, yeah, I'll get, make 15 of them. And we'll go and we'll um, put them in some storage chests over in our main base. Now actually, I'm pretty sure the large electric poles should be um, automatically crafted. So we shouldn't get to a point where we're low on them. So I should go check that out. I just noticed that there's no signals anywhere down this line. That would cause a delay as long as there was a train waiting on the main line it would make a delay trains all seem to be running fine checking the min map yep good to go so we'll just go to these uh stress chests we have over here mm. 
15 and we'll go to 6. Now let me check. There we go. Okay, we just mustn't get um we mustn't be getting enough iron uh, steel plates through. We do have all three of these running, but three isn't really all that many. So okay, that makes sense. It says that we have another 30 missing. Ah, was this part just put online? Yes. One of these must have just been placed down. Yeah, this one here probably. Mm -hmm. What would be nice is, is if we got this radar dish placed down because then we could probably put down the second half of that blueprint. Let's see what we have to do. So this looks like it's set up fine. Don't have any supplies of water yet, that's okay. We do have a supply of petroleum gas. So let's check that our train distribution system knows how to deal with that. And yeah, don't think it's had a reason to um, send off petroleum gas just yet, but we do have it connected in. Okay, that's fine. Now, technically there should be enough petroleum gas here to send one off. See if it um, believes it is sent off for a uh, supply message. It should be for your heavy oil, your light. So you must be petroleum up here. It believes it's sent off for a request. It looks like it's connected in correctly. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's check our supply. I don't see petroleum in the supply. Don't see any train heading where I would expect it to be going. So I'm going to assume that that uh, quest was lost at some point in the past. It has been a while since we've um, yeah, since we've set up these trains. Okay, there we go. Our recipe's just all changed. Yeah, so that's the other recipe that um, we're going to make. That does mean, I don't think we're gonna get that one done within an hour, maybe we will, maybe we won't, probably won't. Uh, and that means that basically I'm gonna have to wait two hours before we can get our blue science started, but that should be fine. Okay, ooh, one thing I forgot to do. I need to add, why is this only up to 62? Okay, that's at least correct. 69 should be until it is empty and 70 until we have an activity and a circuit condition. Okay, we go save that line, we'll just go to the end like that, save, save. Okay, that's all fine. Let's look at this train. It says it's set up correctly. What's it doing? Where is it? Here we go. Production base seven. This one here. That's odd. Why would it make a request when it couldn't actually fill up all the chests? That should not have happened. Let's go and solve that issue. How are we going for time? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think once we've got this solved, we definitely need to go on to um, making our new making our new um, station where we will uh, generate water. So it should just be hopefully just over here. OK, 
Okay, what we'll do is I'll disconnect this. It knows it hasn't sent off any requests, that's what we want. And we'll just place all this in these chests until the train leaves. Now normally when the train leaves, this should say, those numbers don't work out. We shouldn't have a positive one. So if you're disconnected, which you are, that's good. We'll disconnect that. We'll reset these signals. That means it should try to send off that. We'll connect it here. It'll believe it has sent it off, even though it actually hasn't, because it already had in the past and good. Okay, that's fixed that train. Yeah. Thinking the fact that we don't have full energy might actually be leading to some issues with our circuit network. Anything that um, is external and requires um, single tick accuracy, we're not going to get because you know if it's at about half power, that means it's only updating these every two ticks. Where's one of these that actually updates every tick? You don't. It's got to be a clock somewhere here. Yeah, because it's at half power, it's only uh, updating half the time. Okay, let's see. We can do something with a station up here. Well, let's see, our stations only need to actually have one track because we're only going to be putting water in. It's basically like a mine, but this mine is mining water. So maybe if we actually go with one of our, do I have one of our mining tracks? Doesn't look like it. This would be one. Be nice if we could rotate it. Okay, there we go. Mm. Without the ability to uh, rotate it, that's kind of annoying. So let us instead get what we need. So we need the part that sends off a request when we have enough items, which is this circuit here. Yeah, it's the top half. We don't technically need this bottom part down here. We do need a station though. So let's go. Go with that. Well, I build it anyway and just not connect it. I think that's what I will do. Don't think these are needed. Actually, I should really start with a simpler circuit like this one here. Yep, so we don't need that or that. We don't, oh, we don't need uh, any inserters. That should be all we need. See if we can line it up at a good spot. Um, I want the trains to come up to it. And go back down that way. I think, I think this would be a good spot. So what we'll do is we'll have trains I think that's like one spot too low. And I could do it like that. And those dogs are at it again. Yeah, so I think if we have it like this, we can have uh, the water here, it can load in from the bottom. We're going to need to check. Don't think. Yeah, I think this is gonna to need to go 
Three. There's one there. Where else is there a? Don't think anywhere else. Okay. So we have some of that. And because basically I need to wait for this to be constructed, I will be back when this is constructed and we can actually go through uh, how this will be set up. So see you soon. Well, we have a slight issue going on right now, as you can probably guess, uh, we are out of power again. Now I've got a whole inventory full of coal. My car has a fair bit of coal in it. Just I'm gonna go up and uh, see if we can jumpstart our base back up again. Now, two important things we're gonna do. One of which is we need to make sure that there's enough coal uh, in these chests that when we do start it back up, it can actually continue powering. So I think, I think putting my whole inventory in that would be fine. And I'm gonna go over with what was in my car and we'll see if we can jump start with this. Now there should be, oh, I can't tell because the radar's not working. So uh, there should hopefully be a request to pick up some more coal from the uh, coal mines. So hopefully that gets fulfilled. Now, I'm only putting half in each of these because what I want to do is I want to actually get um, a lot of power rather than giving these all enough for ever. I want to mainly get our uh, demand met The long-term power will be coming from hopefully all of the coal that I put in these chests over here. So even with that, when... Oh, this probably has a massive pool because it's been out of power for so long. Hopefully that can get this coal going and that can get this all set up. I don't see a demand for coal. I don't see a train at the coal mine. There should be demand for coal. What I'll do is I'll do a, uh, a manual reset of uh, the station over here, just to make sure that we do have you know, coal being demanded. Because we definitely need coal being set. It's not a good sign. Oh. Okay, so some of the power, um, no power things are going off, so it's slightly good. We do have half of our power getting fed by burner inside it, so as long as there's coal on the um the transport belts, these will all get powered. Yeah, this is this is not a good situation to be in. What I think I'll do is I'll go down and I'll manually get a second load of coal. really need is we just need to get our, um, our system back up and running. As soon as we can get all our boilers up and running and get all our rubber ports recharged with power, we should be fine. Okay, I am actually full of coal again. So with this slot, I will send this, I'll spend this slot um, straight off on the boilers. Because our half a stack really didn't last all that long. So hopefully putting full stacks in each of them and 
probably four times as much in total should last a little bit longer. I think that means that next episode we'll actually get around to uh, finishing off setting up our water. So really I just want to get this set up and that'll probably be the end of this episode once we get our power situation sorted. So they're all filled with a full load. That looks like say five, ten percent for energy demands. Where are you off to? 47 mine unloader. Good. It's going to the coal mine, which is what we need. We need a train to go down there and get a train load. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that we don't lose power. Uh, for long enough that the train believes it's filled up because it's been inactive for five seconds. Hmm. There's a lot of coal down that line, I would have thought. That would have meant that it's less likely to uh, run out of power, but doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, we can see this is going back up, which means that our rover ports must be getting recharged and recharging their internal batteries, which means uh, other parts of our system can turn back on. Oh look, our fuel supply is low, who would have thought? looks to be recovering now. Okay, so our train should be able to hold 12,000, so that's 66% full. Hmm, our energy generation has dropped. Which means that it must be, yep. Some boilers that don't have all the coal that they could. Actually, about 75% towards our satisfaction, which is good. Okay, we have a full line here. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't ever get power. So our south line looks like it's fully packed. Our north line is fairly packed. It's almost at the split off. Once it gets to here, that should mean both lines should be packed, which is enough to actually um, supply all the boilers. So that's always good. Our accumulators are even getting some energy. That's, that's actually a really good sign. Now I did actually have to change the track a bit, um, so I added this bit of track in here. The issue was that our train that would go down to our coal mine, it would then you know go up this way, go up, and the only way from here to actually go north was to basically go up here, go into the waiting bays, come out of the waiting bays, and then take this single piece of track here up north. That was the only way to go north. And so by adding this, the train can instead head west here and take that line up north. We got a few combo um, signals here. So I've got this combo signal here, so the train won't enter this block unless it can get through both this signal and this signal, and therefore this signal, and the train can go through. And trains that are coming down will only pass this combo signal when they get past that one, that one, that one, and then it depends on here if they're going you know, east or west, which one they have to go from there. So that should hopefully stop trains from getting uh, blocked over this part. Ok, 
okay and our train should be unloading good and that means that we're getting a good supply of coal and what i want to know is why the train um did not come over and fill up this station before it ran out because you know it really should be basically always full now if this is let's say one two three four five six so that's one thousand 1500 let's say each one two three four five six 15 times six uh, that's 30 times three so that's 90 so it should be able to hold 9000 coal in one of these just not as much as i'd like maybe i should go with steel chest there instead and they can hold a bit more and i can definitely raise this but this is already at 18,000 which should basically mean that two of these blocks have to be full at all times. So I'm not sure why they won't. Oh, here's what the issue is. Oh, this line isn't connected in. So our trains have never been resetting that signal. How have I never noticed that? One very small red wire that we were missing was causing all of our power issues because all my stuff's in my car which is over to the west but that's okay i'll just picked up a red um, wire from our chest and we'll just connect it in so now if we connect this in it should be that fixed so i think this train should have a next destination six which is this station here so that's good and then when it gets here and it leaves this will actually correctly reset this circuit which means that we should not get any blackouts anymore that's good can't believe i was missing that red wire well anyway uh i think that's going to be it for this episode so we did at least what did we get sorted well, we got these two started they're not built yet and in fact this needs to get all of it which it now appears to have so that's good okay so if we just connect that in and we connect that in so for the break i had a slight interruption why okay that one the blueprint doesn't have the left side no worries okay so that's that all done so this also looks about half done looks like there's no other rover port in range of this one so i'll probably have to place on a second one there Actually, no, this isn't construction range. The issue just is that we haven't got power. We haven't got power because we haven't got big electric poles. So I think that is basically everything ready for the next episode. I think this is just our coal train. Yes, it is. That's nice. And there we go. Uh, so this is Jack B1024 signing off. Have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.